What's going on, everybody? This is No Games, Just Sports, the sports gamer with Madden 24. It just dropped uh, about a week ago. Uh, what do you, what do you do? <laughs> what do we do, right? There's a lot of more bad reviews than good reviews. Some mixed reviews. You got your hardcore um, Madden Ultimate Team players, uh, people who you know one of the side by EA Sports and say this is a great game you know there's no flaws there's a lot of flaws in this game outside of listen I don't, I don't even want to talk about gameplay we're not talking about gameplay right now that is a whole separate issue you want to learn about gameplay gameplay go check out Ryan Moody's channel he'll break down all the gameplay issues for me outside of that being an issue in itself you are EA Sports and you have the NFL license at your disposal and everything that goes with it. Everything that goes with it. And you have a very, very generic presentation. I turned the music off, not even for copyrights, because I'd never care for the soundtrack from Mad. It's the same every year it's not even it's not even they don't even break it up and add a bunch of different flavor it's just the same generic music and you have the nfl license you have espn license why don't you have fox why don't you have cbs why don't you have abc why don't you have amazon thursday night football presentation why is the why is not the music a part of each opening game for whatever day you're playing? Whether it's a Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, Monday night, Thursday night, or even those rare occasion Saturday games, or early morning games over in Germany, the intro is identical. How how generic can you be I mean holy crap you don't even have outside I've turned the announcers off because it's the same announcers for the past eight years they say the same the same thing my god you, you gotta shut it down it's there's no need for it EA Sports listen bring in even generic announcers have your main announcers, your main two guys, and bring in a couple of no-name announcers to call games. Hell, even when you're playing franchise and you're on a road game, do a radio broadcast because you're on the road. Do something, man. Break up the monotony. You have the NFL license. What are you doing over there? When you play now, what NFL game, EA Sports, do you watch football? Do you watch the NFL on Sundays? Do you watch them at all on Monday Night Football? The presentation that you put out, do you see that on television? You don't. I know we all talk about 2K and what they brought to the table so many years ago. Fantastic game. I wish to... <laughs> Wish 2K would get back in the game. I know we're talking about a game. They're talking about a game coming out, but they've been silent. They've been under the radar. Hopefully, something comes out soon. But their presentation was on point. When you were playing a game, it felt like you were watching a presentation on TV. You know, from the pregame, halftime, postgame, and everything in between. EA Sports doesn't have any of that. So let's let's get into it real quickly here. Let's check out the presentation. Here we go. Let's see. Look, we're already almost done with the with with the preseason and we're still it doesn't matter. Here we go. All right. So let's just do random. Green Bay against the Panthers. Okay. Okay, let's see here. We're ready. Boom. Right. These don't matter. This has no effect on gameplay whatsoever. Don't know why they're there. All right, here we go. Let's see here. Let's do a primetime game. Overcast. 
generic ass intro. This is cool, but then look, let what is this? this you don't see this on the on TV. The NFL doesn't do this. Look. Give us what the community wants. This is not... And let the user... Let the user skip the intro, man. If I want to sit here and watch my entire team come into the field, let me watch it. Let me decide I want to skip that. Like, remember Madden 23? They put all this emphasis on that flyover. That lasted like two seconds. Let me, as the game player, decide if I want to skip the intro. Look at this generic-ass presentation. Play all offense. Boom. Okay, here we go. You, you skip right. You don't even break the huddle. <laughs> Look, my point being, EA Sports, you have the National Football League at your disposal. And everything that comes with it. You don't want nobody else making a game. I get it. You want to be the only ones that have the right to make the national football game, football team games. I get it. Whatever. Then do it right. You have the license to do whatever you want with the NFL's approval. Give us the presentation. Give us the information. Give us the games we want. Bring in the announcers. Do something. Come on. Do something. When you're playing franchise, this is about the experience, right? When you're playing franchise and you're on, let's say, year, year two or year three, and you're going through your preseason, and when you get to your cut, you got to cut like 25 players, whatever it is, and you, they give you a list of players to cut, but there's no information on why you're cutting them. Why EA Sports puts the stats of what that player did in preseason. If they didn't play at all, put zero stats. If they played one game, had one sack, two fumbles, recovery is great. If they had four tackles, four, give me something to judge my decision on deciding if I want to put this player on practice squad or if I want to put this player, if I want to cut this player. You just you just give me a list of players to cut. You're giving me an empty task that means nothing. That means nothing. In franchise mode, you should be able to have when you break, go on the sidelines, have an some kind of a cutscene where you can scold your players if they've missed on a block or missed an assignment or praise them to change their morale whether it goes up or goes down make the game interesting your little bar on top of the screen where it's the momentum meter that's trash that means nothing it has no purpose it has no purpose do something better there's got to be a better way to have a trust meter with your quarterback and your offensive line and your receivers. Man, you got these you got this PlayStation 5 remote with all of the ability it has. Man, if I've got a young quarterback and I'm nervous, man, let my controller feel it. Man, vibrate the shit out of my controller. And as I progress and get more familiar with my offense and get more confident, the vibration slows down. Do something. Do something. If your team starts to lose trust 
in your abilities, the team's overall fatigue should go down throughout the game. If your team is giving up first downs, giving up first downs, giving up first downs, the morale should drop and make it to where you feel it. Man, you got to break up the monotony, EA Sports. Why is it that in franchise mode, you, you, you got a quarterback, whether it be the, 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 you know, Aaron Rodgers, whoever, or your superstar player, why, how come there's no ability to get benched or cut? If I, if I throw three or four interceptions and a half, your coach should bench you. At least, or talk to you, give you some kind of a speech, do something. Every game feels like the same game. Preseason feels like a regular season. Regular season games, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday night, Monday night, playoffs, they all feel the same. They look the same, they feel the same, they sound the same. There's no reason for me to go on and play 6, 7, 8, 10, 12 years in a franchise because the monotony of it all is exhausting. There's no reason to do it. There's no investment in my time. There's no investment in my emotions to get emotionally invested in a franchise if there's no enthusiastic purpose to play the game. EA Sports. You got you got to do it. Different teams in different parts of the country, like New York versus the Carolina, or the Dolphins versus the 49ers. Where's the market value? Where's the where's the fan expectations? Why is it every stadium is sold out? Is that it? now if that's the NFL's way of we don't want our you know, bullshit play MLB the show and play a play a, a decent team and you'll see if you're not playing well it's going to show in the stands there's nobody there you start winning some games putting on a good record you'll see you'll start getting a lot more fans in the stands or if you're getting your ass kicked and there's a blowout, it's 42 to 7 in the third quarter. Man, show fans getting up and leaving. Do something. Your scoreboard, presentation. The National Football League is at your. Say it with me. You have it at your. Whatever you want to do, you can do whatever you want. You have the NFL agreement. You have the license. You have everything that comes with it. Why is a scoreboard a generic ass scoreboard? EA Sports, why? Why? Can somebody at EA Sports please tell me why is it a generic scoreboard when you have the National Football League's license and everything that comes with it? Why is it not an ABC, a Fox, CBS, Sunday Night But Why is it not? Give me a classic mode where I can play with, look, NBA 2K23 that just came out, it came out last year. Remember that Jordan mode where you played the old school Jordans, how it looked very like old school? That was, that was cool. That was nice. It was sick. It was different. EA Sports, give me a classic mode where I can play with the classic scoreboard, classic uniforms, classic sounds. Give me something. Break up the monotony. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. Just do arcade games. You want to just be mutt and make arcade games? That's fine. Do it. Let somebody else in. Let somebody else make a franchise. It's okay if you don't want to make a franchise simulation experience. That's okay. Don't. But you don't get to hold the license and not let anybody else do it if you're not going to do it. Step aside. Step aside. Let somebody else do it. You make your arcade games. You're really good at making arcade games. 
Anyway, this was my rant. I appreciate you if you were this here. If you're sticking around this much, <laughs> hit that like button. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think of Madden 24. And um, I hope to be back more with some more videos uh, next month. My house is being renovated right now, so I'm not home. So I appreciate you check out the channel. This is No Games, Just Sports. And we will catch you out next time.